So what are you going to make out of that butternut squash then, Steve? Trevor, I'm going to make a butternut squash udu. That's a, a, a clay pot instrument that comes from uh, northern Africa, uh, Niger uh, Nigeria. And um, I need a bunch of tools. I need um, something just really good that's good for gouging. A, p a potato peel is quite good for I, that. I presume you don't mean gouging your hand here. No, I mean gouging the instrument. Try not to gouge your hand. Um, we need something that's good at scraping. A really good thing to use is an ice cream scoop, a sharp knife, a drill. Now this drill bit is actually um, about 15 mil millimetres in diameter. So um, that gives you a sense of what, what sort of hole we're going to cut in the top. And um, I've got another drill bit here, which has actually got a 32 millimetre um, diameter to cut a hole in the side. So I'm going to start by just chopping off the very top so we've got a flat surface to start off with. Here we go. So when you're doing this with school kids, what do you do about using drills and stuff like that? Do they get to use it or do you...? Well, the sharp, the sharp knives and um, some of the other um, equipment, uh, we, we, we let them use themselves under supervision. But the drill bit, I tend to hang on to that and, and drill it on request because obviously they could, they, it could be quite dangerous. So um, I might do the drill bit for them. And in fact, since there's only one drill in the class at any one time, one can keep an eye on that. Now I know when I've got down to the hollow bit because suddenly it gets a lot easier to get through. So that's where all the seeds are, you mean? That's right, where all the seeds are. While I'm there, I'm going to put in another hole just in the side to start it off. I think it might make it things easier later on. So here we go, going into the side, into the same hollow area where the seeds are kept. Now what I'm going to do now is bore out that a little bit wider using the 32 millimetre there we go. to make that hole just a little bit bigger. There we go. Brilliant. Now, what I need to do now is start gouging out the insides. So I'm going to just make that a little bit wider so that I can start to get the scooper inside. Here we go. We're taking out all the material that's going to absorb the sound and make a nice resonating chamber in there. Just try it out to see how we're getting on. I think it needs to echo more in the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill down now through the top just to make that column of air here that much wider. There we go. I think that's just about through. So now we've got a resonating chamber down the bottom and a very large tube coming up the top. Starting to sound a little bit more like an udu. So you're hitting that with your palm of your hand, so presumably you, you want to make the hole as big as you can as long as it doesn't get too big for your palm to work, don't you? That's right, but you also want to keep the, uh, the chamber itself as, as, as big as possible, so you don't want to um, take away the, the, the actual shape of the chamber in, in, in here as well. Of course, the other thing that you can do with an udu is blow into it. Mm. Makes quite a good conch shell. you could blow sort of raspberry with your mouth to make that noise. Steve, I've got, I've got one I made earlier on actually. It's, um, what I've done is almost the same, but I've kept the hole a bit smaller at the top. That's right, it's made a big difference, hasn't it? And I, I think it makes a much okay. better sound. Mm. 